Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on customizing the Django admin. So first of all, let's create a simple project, have a look at the default Django admin, and then go ahead and customize it accordingly. So I'm just going to create a very simple Django project. And of course I have a particular style. So I just start off by creating a directory on my desktop. Then I head on over to Visual Studio Code. And I just go ahead and set up my virtual environment and everything like that. So what I'm going to do is just open the folder and make sure that I'm in my folder. It's here already, but for those that don't know, this is how you can also open a folder on in your desktop directory. Okay, I can see it's open. Now what I can do is now toggle this panel here to bring up this uh, terminal on VS Code. Let me shelf the debug console here. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and run pip install virtual env. Now virtual env is a package that we can utilize in order to create virtual environments. And like I always say in my videos, this will be the few instances where you should install a package globally. Usually you should install them in a virtual environment. But in this case, we have no choice. So I'm going to run pip install virtual env. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that's been set. Now I'll be able to create a virtual environment and I'm going to use the command virtual env as the command. And now I want to give a name for my virtual environment. I'm going to call it venv and press enter. You can name this part here anything. This is going to be the name of your virtual environment. And we can see that it has been activated. So now what I'm going to do is say venv backslash scripts backslash activate. And there we go. Perfect and CLS will clear the terminal for us. So what I'm going to do, I just want to make this a bit bigger, big higher here. So what I want us to do is first of all, install Django in this virtual environment. So I'm going to say pip install Django. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's going to take a moment. So let's just be a bit patient. All right, perfect. So we can see that Django was installed. Now to confirm this, we can just say pip list. That's going to list all the packages installed in this virtual environment. And there we go. We can see Django has been installed along with a lot of other SAM packages along with it. So we're using Django 4.2.1 as of this video. So it's the latest version. All right, perfect. Now the next thing that we want to do is we just want to go ahead and head on over to our uh, project. Now to do so, we need to first create a Django project. So to do that, you can say Django dash admin, excuse me, uh, start project. And I'm going to call mine Elevate. Now do keep in mind there are many ways to start a Django project. This is just one way. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. So here is our project. Perfect. Next, we can CD into that project. So I'm going to CD into Elevate. Okay, that's my Django project. And I want to run my Python manage.py file here. So to do so, I'll say Python manage.py run server. And that's going to run the server for us. Okay, perfect. So we can now see we'll be able to access our server at the following link. So we can head on over there. And there we go. We can now see our Django server is up and running. Perfect. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the Django admin page. So Django by default, okay, has an admin page built in. So if you were to head on over to your settings.py file, and you scroll down, you can see under installed apps by default, um, there is an app already set for us, which is django.contribAdmin. So all of that functionality pertaining to the Django admin is set and already in place. All we need to do is actually migrate these default database files associated with these apps. Now, let me show you an example here. If I just stop the server and I run pyasamanage.py run server again, you're going to notice something red here in the terminal, and I'll show you that in a moment. So you just might have seen it in a second here. So you can see here it says you have 18 unapplied migrations and this pertains to the following apps, admin, auth, content type, sessions, etc. And that has to do with all of these installed apps that we have here. Okay, now what we need to do is migrate all of these accordingly so that we can keep everything set and ready to go. So now what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and run python manage.py migrate. And we're just going to migrate all the default database files for these apps here, including django.contribadmin, which pertains to the Django admin page. So we've got that all set up and ready to go. So we can see we're in our virtual environment and we've made our migrations. 
Next thing that we can do is create a super user because I want us to log into the Django admin page and just explore a bit and just have a good look at what we have by default. So you can just say Python. Okay, I'm going to actually close this Explorer. Python manage.py and you want to say create super user. Okay, uh, you can choose the username. Uh, email is optional. Just enter in the password. And again. Okay, there we go. Super user was created successfully. Perfect. Now let's turn on our server again. Okay, there we go. And now we can head on to the admin page. Now to get there by default, it will be forward slash admin. Okay, there we go. And this is the default Django admin page that we have here. Now you can also see that Django 4.2 has the latest um, version in terms of the admin page. So what I mean by that is here by default, you can see you can now change the effects and the lighting, which is quite a fancy thing that's been introduced here. So we have our own light and dark mode. Okay, so what I want you to do is to go ahead and enter in your credentials and log into your Django admin account. All right, so welcome back. So now we are in the Django admin and you can see here how it looks. You can also change the mode here if you're using Django uh, 4.2. So you can see this literally just changes it from white to, white to uh, black. So it just changes it in a lighter and darker color accordingly. So it's very um, simple. It's uh, looked the same for many versions in Django. So we can just have a good look here. You can see the sections. You can just re-familiarize yourselves with the basic UI of the Django admin page. So most of you will obviously know what this looks like. Anyway, what we can do now is we can just log out. So I just wanted to show you that. And we can just head on back to admin here, where we were. All right, so a very useful package if you that you can utilize if you want to customize your Django admin is known as Django Jasmine here. So it's quite a new package here. So it just came out last year and it is a drop-in theme for Django admin that you can utilize that makes use of admin Lite 3 and Bootstrap 4 to give it a bit of a jazzy look, you could say. So what we're going to have to do is install this package within our virtual environment. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to stop my server for the moment and I'm going to install this package known as Django-Jasmine into my virtual environment. So go ahead and install that. Okay, and we can clear this up now. All right, perfect. We can type pip list just to confirm that that has been installed. Okay, so Django-Jasmine, perfect. All right, that's great. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to read the documentation to see what we need to install. So if you head on to this page and you scroll down, you can see there's an option here for, let me zoom in. There's an option if you scroll down for see documentation. So you can click on that. I will be sure to include the link directly to the documentation and this um, page here as well for you. So that will be included in the description below. So here you can read a little bit more about the Jasmine um, app here that you can read a bit more. So we can see all the features that are added and in place here. You're also more than welcome to have a look at the demo. So as you can see here, it's quite different here in terms of the screenshots. The part that I really like the most about this theme here is on the right, the recent actions part. I feel it's a lot cleaner than the current Django admin that we have, okay, with um, the red here and the green. It's just a bit more pronounced with this um, gray background here in the back, as you can see here. There are a few things I don't like, okay, but it is something new and it is different, and I really take a strong liking here to these recent actions and these sections here that are part. Okay, so that's just something to look at. We will go into more detail when we actually um, add it in. But anyway, just a few screenshots so you can have a look and you can scroll down. Okay, and it's set on to the bottom and we can now go to next. Okay, and all we need to do is add Jasmine to our installed apps here. And the important thing is you need to make sure that it's installed before Django Contrib Admin. Now, just a bit of advice from the guys that developed this app here is just to make sure that when you install Django um, Jasmine, let's say you're doing some updates with your uh, source code, etc., just be sure to add in this prefix here. So the dash and capital U here, followed by the package name, just to make sure that you're kept up to date with the latest version. If you plan to use this regularly among several Django versions. 
Anyway, now the only thing we need to do now is add Jasmine, okay, just before Django admin. So I'm going to copy that. Head in to installed apps here, and I'm just going to add it to the top. And as you can see, it's before Django admin. Now, all we need to do is we can just run our server. Okay, let's run it. Okay, there we go. And we need to make sure that we don't have any migrations we need to make. So just in case, usually Django tells us this, but just to confirm, we're good. All right, so we don't need to actually set anything up there. The package itself is enough along with the app name. So you can go ahead and rerun your server. Perfect. And now what you can do is head on to your Django admin uh, site here, just, okay, and just refresh here. And there we go. So you can see the whole look looks different. And as you can see, we have a big A here for the admin page, uh, the welcome message here. And the thing I do like here is this username and password input field. It looks a bit better than the default Django admin one. So as you can see, there are some advantages and disadvantages or features that I would personally say are better and worse. So what you can do is enter in your credentials. And once you have done so, you can go ahead and log in. All right, so here we go. So here is the latest and updated Django admin. So you can see everything looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. So let's head on over to users. And what I want to do is add a new user. Okay, I kind of like this function, which is quite nice. Okay, uh, the you could say the input fields here look a bit more pronounced, a bit cleaner. So we can enter in a username. So I'm going to put user2 and enter in the password. Confirm. So these fields look quite nice. The save button is quite pronounced. I like that. Okay, so we can save the delete. Okay, I like the coloring that they added as the bootstrap. Okay, I must say that this is mm, a bit hard to read, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I, I don't want to critique too much, guys, here. But you, as you can see, you get the point. So there is quite a key difference. And the part that I really like here is if we head onto the dashboard, we can see that recent action. So if I zoom out here, it looks really clean and really nice. So let's say I wanted to delete that user. So I'm going to go and delete, okay. The user interface sometimes feels a bit cleaner than the default Django version. Okay, successfully deleted dashboard. And we can see those actions here. So as we can see, if I were to Look here, it looks like we have a plus for the green for something new that has occurred and a red for deleted or removed. Perfect. All right. So that's it, guys. That's how you can go ahead and customize your Django admin utilizing the Jasmine package here for Django. All right. So that's it. Um, just a, a quick uh, video tutorial that I wanted to go through with you guys in order to just explore something different. And in case those of you wanted something, you know, something new and you wanted to try something out in terms of customizing your Django admin page. All right. So that's it, guys. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. See you.